The Isle of Youth is a collection of short stories um, and they are all narrated from the point of view of women and they all involve mystery and crime in some way. This is why we're here, part of why we're here, um, The Isle of Youth, which is uh, Laura Vandenberg's second collection of short stories. And then meanwhile, um, hello, welcome to Hi. Steve Gunn, <laughs> um, who you may know from his work uh, with Kurt Weill and The Violators. So I wanted to talk about how you decide in general, just a general question, the order of your stories, and I'll start with you, Laura. Um, well, I think in, in any collection, I mean, you're certainly thinking about um, linkage and commonality and overlap, so, you know, what are the echoes between the stories? How are they in conversation with each other? Uh, it was also really important for me to think about sort of variance. I was trying to think of a way to describe them, and I was like, well, if I was still a publicist, I would tell people <laughs> that it's sort of like Lori Moore meets Spring Breakers, <laughs> like a little bit, <laughs> if you could <laughs> sort of imagine what that might look like, because <laughs> there are like bank robbers and masks, and it's violent and bloody, and there's high risk, and some of the stories are quite dark. But actually, like, even in the stories that are on the darker end in aisle, I mean, one of the things that keeps me interested in fiction is this idea that I can essentially try on sort of different ways of being and different ways of seeing, and I really like would not want to be trapped in the lives of my characters forever um, because me I might neither. get like shot in the face <laughs> or something like that. You seem so nice and normal <laughs> and well adjusted. Should we should we talk about what's going on inside? <laughs> It's an elaborately crafted facade. You know, coming from a musician's standpoint, um, I always get these comments about my music uh, from people who hear it, and they always say, I can't believe you live in New York. I always thought you live, like, out in the country, you know, like, because, you know, I play this sort of really kind of uh, mellow, acoustic kind of music, expansive music. Right. It's not busy. It's not... You know, it's not like it doesn't sound like like a city. So in a way, that was it's my own way of dealing with my own environment. And um, I decided to kind of take that music and tell a, a story of where I live. Dripping to the bottom of the well. 